Mark Wood about to complete the line. Favourite is Duffers Creek. Gates open, they're off and racing in the first and kill Ronan, missed it by about a length at the uh, start. Now it's a wall of horses as they head towards the first of ten hurdles and coming out in front, Mark Wood now has made the lead. A couple of them a little bit ordinary back in the field, including Trump that, but it's uh, Mark Wood who shows out, now being taken on up on the outside by a commander and that's going to work around and take over here. So down by the 600 metres mark, they come on their first occasion, it's commander in command. Race favourite Duffers Creek works around to sit second up on the outside. Then Mark Wood third on the outside of George V, who's lying fourth. Then followed a length away next out wide is our right guru. The Bieber came next from Kilronan. Then back in the field is Cape Cayley with Trump that. And last of all is Eon. At the first of three in the straight, the first occasion, the commander just veered out a bit. Took uh, Duffers Creek with it though as they come down towards the second in the lane now. And slipping through along the inside, Mark Wood to make a line of three out in front. George V is next over on the inside of our right guru as the leaders clear the third in the lane the first time. Out a bit deeper on the track is Cape Cayley. Then came the Bieber, followed two lengths away by Kill Ronan, then Eon, and last of all is Trump that. There's only eight lengths covering them as they work out of the straight for the first time today. And they head out towards the 1700 metres mark. It's Mark Wood over on the inside, a narrow leader. Commander goes up on the outside of it to match motors. Two lengths away third next is Duffers Creek the favourite on the outside of George V uh, then followed about a length and a half away out three wide is Cape Cayley our right guru came next from the Bieber the inside and then Kill Ronan out three wide with cover is Eon and two lengths away Trump that patiently ridden back at the tail they head into the back straight First down the back coming up here at the 1300 metres and up and over they go. They all made it safely. Eight lengths would cover the field. It's Mark Wood over on the inside of Commander. A length off them. Duffers Creek is right there. Then George V followed by Cape Cayley. Our right guru came next. Followed a length and a half away by the Bieber. Then came the stable mate Eon. Then uh, between those two is Kilronan as they head towards the last down the back straight. There's only about six lengths covering that lot and with a very ordinary uh, Jump, Trump that has dropped away about 15 lengths away. It's uh, the only one out of it, Trump that. All the others have got a realistic winning chance because he's only five lengths covering them. As they head down to the 700 metres and Duffers Creek makes his play now. He leads about a neck in advance of uh, Cape Cayley. And working forward out uh, three wide is George V and then followed in behind them by Commander uh, with those as well as our right guru. And then Kilronan looks to improve out wide as Eon. Uh, back near the tail, Mark Wood drifts it back as well as they hit for home now. Three to go. Duffers Creek, the leader. He's first over by two from Commander. George V. Then them behind these running on is the Bieber. At the second to last, Duffers Creek. He leads by two and a half with his pace on the flat coming towards the last now. Duffers Creek, the favourite, stepped off it, but he jumped it beautifully and he's home in the first. Duffers Creek will be too good. The Bieber's raced into second. Third at the line will be Commander just ahead of George V. And then Kill Ronan followed by Cape Cayley. Further back was Eon. Uh, with it also was our right Guru. And the two that did not complete the course were Mark Wood, who dropped out on the home turn, and Trump that, who put in an ordinary jump at the one by the 900 metres, wasn't persevered with afterwards, and they've been allowed to trot down past the uh, post, although not jumping the last few hurdles. But the favourite two good here, five Duffers Creek, in the hands of Sean Fannin. For the Kevin Myers team, he took over a fair way from home with his ability on the flat. He's the winner of 12 races on the flat. And that Hoodles debut was in safe keeping a fair way from home. Five, Duffers Creek, too good. Nice run from the second horse. Nine, the Bieber. That'll take second. Third will be Commander just ahead of George V in fourth spot. Yeah, just simply too good, wasn't he? Uh, was the favourite in Duffers Creek. Just too fast in between jumps, in between jumps, wasn't he? In Duffers Creek, he chanced a couple, but he was able to just every jump, he was able to gain a length between jumps, and you were in pretty safe keeping with those two jumps to go. He just needed to pop over them, and he was home. And he's done exactly that and done the right thing for favourite punters. The Ruffies run second. The Bieber, it's 15:30 for the place, and then number nine and Commanders fought on to finish into third. So five, nine. Four and one will be those numbers if you've taken wide trifectas or first fours with the favourite on top, you certainly will be rewarded.